Hello everyone, my name is Ross the Alchemist, and this is Charity. Some of you may know, but most of you probably don't. I stream on Twitch. I've been streaming since around March 15th, 2019, making this year 3 of my time there. Since I have started, about once a year I try to do a charity stream event campaign. It usually benefits St. Jude's Children's Charity, as I am a father, and so that charity and its cause hits a little closer to home for me than most. Two years ago, I got in contact with a group called Fallout for a Cure. A group of like-minded Fallout franchise enthusiasts who also raise money for St. Jude's. Their our goal for this year is a simple one, and it goes like this. From the moment we are born, our life generates ripples. Every child is born with the innate potential to shape the lives they touch the neighborhoods they live in, the work they do, and the families they create. This creates ripples of their own. And yet, there are children at the beginning of life that face illness, crushing pain, and the specter of death. In December of 2020, the seed of an idea was planted that brought Fallout streamers, creators, and gamers from all over the world to do something about that. It wasn't about consoles, our favorite Fallout, or anything other than working together to save lives. We achieved no small miracle. Over $109,000 raised in just one week to offer hope to children who could use some during the holidays. This year, we need your help to make that miracle happen again, and then some. To date, the Fallout community has raised almost $400,000 for worthy causes. Before the year is out, this community will pass the half a million dollar mark as we stream to fund life-saving surgeries for children the world over that St. Jude is working to save. Lives given hope at the dawn of their lives. Imagine all the ripples in the world they will create in their lifetime. War never changes, but hope, hope can save a life. This year marks Fallout's 25th anniversary, which means that I'm about 8 years older than Fallout. And we're all trying to do special things for this. There are four cosplay gatherings happening around Good Springs, Sutton, Washington DC, and Boston. Check out the link in the description for all of the information. The charity campaign is going on from October 1st, so a couple days ago if you're watching this video the day it comes out, until the end of December. Now, I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday nights, and for the next three months, every Friday will be Fallout Friday, where I try to finally beat a Fallout game. I've also purchased a few STL files from Modifus Interactive, the makers of the Fallout tabletop game, to print out and paint while on stream. We will be chatting, hanging out, and you can even help influence what colors the car is painted. There'll be a few donation rewards and incentives, as well as a couple painting nights where we will do this car, and then potentially raffle it off. Honestly, it is one of the funniest things to me that I have played so many games over so many years, both on Twitch, by myself, growing up, with friends either at my place, my parents' place, or their place, and I have yet to beat a Fallout game, or even any Bethesda game to be perfectly honest, and how many Skyrims are we now on?
But I digress. What we're here for this week are miniatures and cherry. And so that is what I am focusing on 100%. No games, eh, some games, and mostly to inform you of what is to come for the next three months over on my Twitch. All of the links that you will need will be in the description for both myself, my socials, and everything for Fallout for a Cure. Thank you for joining me, and happy painting.